Hi, I'm Dorothy. Please stop by the Phoenix Museum. We're open Monday through Friday, 1 to 4. We'd be happy to see you. The Rogue Indian Tribe and others had been their home here for over 3,000 years in the Rogue Valley until the Oregon Trail and then came Fort Talent, United States Army and settlers. They invaded and settled in as was the story of all of what we now call the United States. In fact, we all are aliens to this land. The Phoenix, Oregon area was settled in about 1850 by brothers Hiram and Samuel Culver. Samuel Culver laid out the town in 1854, and early residents included Milton Lindley, who operated a sawmill that provided timbers in 1855 for a blockhouse, which is a small fort if you look it up as well as a flouring mill owned by Sylvester M. Waite. For a time, the settlement was known locally as Gasburg, and it was named after a talkative employee in the kitchen serving the mill hands. Guess he must have had a real mouth on him in order to name the town after him. <laughs> Waite, who was an agent for the Phoenix Insurance Company of Hartford, Connecticut, assigned the official name Phoenix to the community and in 1857 to its post office. Samuel Cover, September 10, 1817 through February 15, 1891, this is all from Wikipedia by the way, was one of the first pioneers of the U.S. state of Oregon. Culver served as a U.S. Marshal and I, Bill Kiefer, was the U.S. Marshal in Los Angeles. Hi, I'm Bill Kiefer and I am a uh, video historian. I moved from Los Angeles to Southern Oregon in 1991 and I decided to live in Ashland. And I bought a ranch there, it had horses, and I played the cowboy. I was a city guy in a, in a country area and I, now I know what horses are and goats and all that stuff. Uh, and I lived there for years and then I got you know, a little tired of the ranch deal. So I moved to Phoenix into a uh, nice community with a swimming pool and all that. Uh, I would like to relay a little history about where I live in Southern Oregon, in Jackson County in particular. And let's talk about the Oregon Trail. More specifically, that split off is the Applegate Trail. The two Applegate brothers who came over the trails was Jesse and Lindsay. 
L-I-N-D-S-A-Y and J-E-S-S-E. They did a lot of hard work and they are very intelligent, very well spoken. Now, Lindsay, he published a book called The Applegate Trail, of course, because he's Applegate. He did it. And so I'd like to relay a few of his words right out of his book, right out of his mouth. Talks about the Rogue Valley. The wheat crop of 1855 was an extremely abundant one, the general average being over 30 bushels per acre, while many fields produced over 40. The two mills on Bear Creek being incapable of turning the immense crop into flour, another and much larger mill was erected at Phoenix. So that's where I'm living right now. This is my history in my little city of Phoenix, Oregon. By S.M. Waite, at great expense, wheat flour of an excellent quality sold as low as four cents per pound wholesale. A trivial price in comparison with its cost three years before. Lumber also was held at moderate figures, being produced in considerable quantities by various small sawmills. A.V. Gillette had erected the first of these in 1852, and William Hughes, in the fall of the following year, put up a small water power mill to cut lumber for Fort Lane, then in process of erection. Hughes received $125 per thousand feet for his lumber. In 1854, Milton Lindley constructed his mill near Phoenix. Yay, Phoenix! A water-driven concern. Jackson County in the fall of 1855 had attained the foremost place and the list of Oregon's counties being the most populous and wealthy of all. At no time in its history had affairs borne a more encouraging appearance aside from the coming Indian troubles. Oh yeah, the Indian wars were coming. Or had brighter or more cheering anticipations filled. The minds of its inhabitants that is right from Lindsay Applegate, the man who made not only Southern Oregon, but all of Oregon. That guy was all over the place. I'm Bill Kiefer, video historian. Keep on watching. Hi there, I'm Bill Kiefer. I do videos. I have over 14 YouTube channels covering many, many venues, music, restaurants, anything you can think of. I have over 2,000 videos on YouTube. So give me a call if you need a video for marketing your business or yourself. 303-566-1000.